10 Steps to Being a Happier You Step 1. Smile, you tend to smile when you're happy. But it's actually a two-way street, we smile because we're happy, and smiling causes the brain to release dopamine, which makes us happier, that doesn't mean you have to go around with a fake smile plastered on your face all the time. But the next time you find yourself feeling low, crack a smile and see what happens. Or try starting each morning by smiling at yourself in the mirror. Step 2. Exercise. Exercise isn't just for your body. Regular exercise can help to reduce stress, feelings of anxiety, and symptoms of depression while boosting self-esteem and happiness, even a small amount of physical activity can make a difference. You don't have to train for a triathlon or scale a cliff unless that's what makes you happy. Consider these exercise starters, take a walk around the block every night after dinner, sign up for a beginner's class in yoga or tai chi. Start your day with 5 minutes of stretching. Remind yourself of any fun activities you once enjoyed, but that have fallen by the wayside. Or activities you always wanted to try, such as golf, bowling, or dancing. Step 4. Eat with mood in mind. You already know that food choices have an impact on your overall physical health. But some foods can also affect your state of mind. For example, carbohydrates release serotonin, a feel-good hormone. Just keep simple carbs, foods high in sugar and starch, to a minimum, because that energy surge is short and you'll crash. Complex carbs, such as vegetables, beans, and whole grains, are better, lean meat, poultry, legumes, and dairy are high in protein. These foods release dopamine and norepinephrine, which boost energy and concentration. Highly processed or deep-fried foods tend to leave you feeling down. So will skipping meals start by making one better food choice each day? Step 5. Be grateful. Simply being grateful can give your mood a big boost, among other benefits. Practicing gratitude can have a significant impact on feelings of hope and happiness. Start each day by acknowledging one thing you're grateful for. You can do this while you're brushing your teeth or just waiting for that snoozed alarm to go off. As you go about your day, try to keep an eye out for pleasant things in your life. They can be big things, such as knowing that someone loves you or getting a well-deserved promotion, but they can also be little things, such as a co-worker who offered you a cup of coffee or the neighbor who waved to you. Maybe even just the warmth of the sun on your skin, with a little practice, you may even become more aware of all the positive things around you. Step 6. Give a compliment. Performing acts of kindness can help you feel more satisfied. Giving a sincere compliment is a quick, easy way to brighten someone's day while giving your own happiness a boost. Catch the person's eye and say it with a smile so they know you mean it. You might be surprised by how good it makes you feel. If you want to offer someone a compliment on their physical appearance, make sure to do it in a respectful way. Step 7. Breathe deeply. You're tense, your shoulders are tight, and you feel as though you just might lose it. We all know that feeling, instinct may tell you to take a long, deep breath to calm yourself down. Turns out, that instinct is right. Deep breathing exercises can help. The next time you feel stressed or at your wit's end, work through these steps. Close your eyes. Try to envision a happy memory or beautiful place. Take a slow, deep breath in through your nose. Slowly breathe out through your mouth or nose. Repeat this process several times until you start to feel yourself calm down. Step 8. Acknowledge the unhappy moments. Positive attitude is generally a good thing, but bad things happen to everyone. It's just part of life. If you get some bad news, make a mistake, or just feel like you're in a funk, don't try to pretend you're happy. Acknowledge the feeling of unhappiness letting yourself experience it for a moment. Then, shift your focus toward what made you feel this way and what it might take to recover. Would a deep breathing exercise help? A long walk outside. Talking it over with someone, let the moment pass and take care of yourself. Step 9. Keep a journal. A journal is a good way to organize your thoughts, analyze your feelings, and make plans. And you don't have to be a literary genius or write volumes to benefit, 
it can be as simple as jotting down a few thoughts before you go to bed. If putting certain things in writing makes you nervous, you can always shred it when you've finished. It's the process that counts. Step 10. Face stress head on. Life is full of stresses, and it's impossible to avoid all of them, there's no need to. Stress isn't always harmful, and we can even change our attitudes about stress. Learn more about the upside of stress, for those stresses you can't avoid, remind yourself that everyone has stress, there's no reason to think it's all on you. And chances are, you're stronger than you think you are, instead of letting yourself get overwhelmed, try to tackle the stressor head on. This might mean initiating an uncomfortable conversation or putting in some extra work, but the sooner you tackle it, the sooner the pit in your stomach will start to shrink. 